Hi, I'm Kevin Owen. That's Destiny Ranty. That's Jack Smith. And uh, what are we talking about? Something about needing to caretake others or our need to step into this place where we take it upon ourselves to meet the needs yeah. of others. Uh, you don't ever see that counseling, do you? No, no, no never. Never. Uh, actually, sometimes I do. Sometimes I see people come in and uh, the first five minutes of them ask me about my life. And, and it's it's easy to, to, to be like, oh, yeah, somebody, you know, is asking me. I'm interested. And then you start realizing, wait, hey, I see what you're doing now. Uh, sometimes people have that where they try to take care of you. And then that's not going to help in counseling because you're here for us to help you. Well, and even outside of the counseling and client relationship, there's there's times in, in life where people are going to want to caretake everyone around them and they feel guilty whenever someone tries to take care of them or they don't know how to accept it. And so what I would say to that person is that it is okay to have your needs, needs met by someone else sometimes. And that doesn't mean to fully rely on them, but it does mean that, that you're allowed to be loved in that way. Usually whenever I encounter people who are caretakers, or someone's having way more fun than I am. Usually whenever I encounter people who are caretakers, they get this sense of uh, value or purpose from their caretaking others. As long as I can meet your needs, I have a value and a purpose. Do you realize how exhausting it is to take on the fact that I have to meet your needs in order for me to have those values? Uh, one thing that I would tell you is you, you can't continuously pour out and expect to still have anything left. It'll wear you out, it'll burn you out, and cause you problems. You'll be resistant. You'll be resentful to those people eventually yeah. because they're going to ask you for things expecting that you do it because you always have and you won't have it to give and then you feel like you can't say no because maybe you won't be loved or you won't be cared for or whatever the case may be, whatever narrative you're running in your head. Yeah, and, and we all know the scenario where they say, you know, you're in an airplane and you know it's going down and you got to take care of your own self first before you can take care of others. Because if you don't, you'll try to take care of them without taking care of yourself and you ruin everybody, right? And so the idea is I have to have something in the bank saved up to be able to give out. And if all I'm doing is giving, then I'll eventually have nothing left and that's gonna play out not well. This also goes into like taking care of yourself. You have to be able to know where your needs are so that you're able to meet them as well. Um, if you're constantly taking care of other people, where is there room for you to take care of yourself? And even in a spiritual sense, you got to find time to allow God to fill you back up. It generates conflict sometimes whenever you've taught people to depend on you for their needs, for their well-being. And then you look at it going, I'm just pouring out and I'm giving and I'm giving and I'm giving and I'm resenting the fact that you're not grateful or you're not noticing. Well, you taught them to. They have to have some sort of ownership in their process and with the things uh, that you're caring for people for. And the other, other important thing to draw out of that even is if you're working harder than the people around you, that's not caretaking, that's enabling. Yeah, trying to say so? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's oh, a yeah. lot of, you know, stuff comes up in counseling. If you need to talk to a counselor, uh, well, they're counselors and I'm a counselor and we work with other counselors and you can call me.